How's it going, goons? It is update day, which means that version 15 of the college football revamp mod has been released. And I think for pretty obvious reasons, this one is one of the ones that I'm more excited for. Now, alongside a couple of other teams, this update focused on the Mac. And seeing as the Grey Boys are in the Mac, uh, I think you know what that means. Let's not waste any time, though. Let's start looking at the new uniforms released in this update. As always, we'll go in alphabetical order. So we'll start with Akron. And the Zips have a new look to them. Uh, I like it quite a bit. Although some might say that it's just budget Georgia Tech. Very similar indeed. Not the craziest amount of options, but they do have a few alternates. And it's a pretty clean look. Definitely better than the one that they had in the base game. Just the base gold helmet. Uh, but for the jersey, they've got the blue one and the white one. And for the pants, they just have the blue and the gold. Next on the list is Ball State. Uh, the Cardinals, again, a pretty simple team. I really like this uh, black helmet that they have where it's got the mascot, which apparently is named Charlie, and he's doing a little dance. Other than that, they have the white helmet and the Cardinal helmet, of course. And then they have the Cardinal jersey, the white jersey, the black jersey and a throwback 2019 black jersey the pants as you could probably guess they have uh, one set in black one in cardinal and one in white after ball state comes bowling green who looks very similar to a team from cleveland and i gotta say they have pretty simple options but uh maybe a surprising amount of them so we'll just go back to the home and scroll through everything. I mean, look at how many alts there is. We had all the non-numbered ones, and then we get up to alt 10. So lots of options for the Falcons. The orange helmet and also the white helmet. Jersey-wise, there's a solid amount. They've got the brown, the white, and the orange. And then they've got a lot of pants to work with. They're very similar on what they are, but they have them. There's the standard orange, the standard brown, and the standard white, which just have the little lines down at the bottom of the leg. And nothing on front. And then they have the Falcons ones, which has the logo there on the right hip. And it says Falcons on the side. They have those in orange, brown, and white as well. All in all, a pretty solid amount of options to work with. And I think for me especially, and I think that's true with a lot of people, that's something that you're kind of looking for when you're starting a dynasty. Just so you don't have to look at the same uniforms every game. Now, we only have to move one more slot down here alphabetically to get to our next team. It's Buffalo. And the Bulls, again, pretty simple look. I like their new helmets that they got. They have a blue one as well as a white one. And they're definitely one of those teams. Uh, I feel like I say this with every update, but it's true. The, they're one of those teams that doesn't go crazy. But what they do have, they do pretty well. Uh, the jersey, they just have the blue, white, and gray. And I'm kind of surprised that Buffalo doesn't have a black jersey at all. But the way it seems is that, you know, if they do unveil one and there are slots available, or maybe a team gets rid of some, uh, the revamp team, it sounds like, is kind of going back through teams as they release individual uniforms and uh, putting those out there. So who knows? Maybe maybe Buffalo will watch this one and the athletic director will say, yeah, Goon's right. They should have black jerseys and then we'll get some. <laughs> um, blue pants for them as well as the white and the gray so you actually do have a decent amount of alternates you've got the home the away both just all blue all white and then the all gray and then uh you just mix and match those for a bunch of alternates and how many is do, do we have uh eight so bowling green had 10 buffalo has eight those are both a solid amount our rivals come next central michigan very very simple team not a lot going on with them uh, pretty much just the home in a way and then a couple of mix-ups, but not too much. One helmet, just the maroon, uh, just the maroon and the white jersey, so nothing going on there. And then it's just the gold and white pants, so they have a couple of options, but I mean, they're rivals, so I think I can say these guys suck. In all honesty, though, the uniforms themselves aren't bad. Uh, just a little bit too simple for me to want to play with them a ton, so I gotta say i think we can rule out central michigan as a uh, a future dynasty pick kent state is next on the list and i gotta say i like these guys quite a bit the uh default is this all gold look 
They've got the away and the gray and then uh, all of their alternates. And they have 12, 13, 14, 15 alternates. That is a lot. So let's take a look at what they have. Helmet wise, uh, they have the gold, the blue and the white. And I like this because all of them have a different design. The gold one number on the side with the vertical lightning bolt. The white one, it's kind of like that Chargers lightning bolt on both sides. Uh, and then the blue one has the logo. And then they've got the gold jersey, the white and gold jersey, the blue jersey, the white and blue jersey, and the gray jersey. So a lot of options there. And I think it's the same amount of options with the pants where you go gold, gray, blue, uh, white, blue, and white, gold. Difference between those, obviously, you've got the gold line down the side on the white gold. And on the white blue, you get the line in the front just above the knee. This is bound to happen when teams have a lot of similar colors, but some of these uniforms look very much like West Virginia to me, although I still like them quite a bit. Miami is next on the list. I'm pretty sure they're one of the teams that's very simple, although I do like their standard helmet. Uh, just the four alternates. Oh no, they have more than I thought. They have uh, six alternates, so... The red helmet for them, which I like a lot because of that kind of red to white gradient near the bottom. Uh, I'm just a sucker for a nice gradient. What can I say? <laughs> Besides that, they just have the white helmet. So not a whole lot of options there, but it's better than just having one helmet. I got to say that for sure. They've got the red jersey and the white jersey. And then with pants, it's just the white and the red. So not a crazy amount of options, but at least the helmet change gives you the that couple more uh, alternate options. Kind of three home and three away. I think for me, a red and white team is a little bit too boring for my taste. But again, I do really like that helmet. We move on to Northern Illinois after this. And they have a lot of options. Also, 16 alternates. For the Huskies, a uh, couple of different helmets. They've got the black one. I like that red face mask on it. And then there's also a white one. And that one is pretty solid. Neither of them ridiculously nice, but they're not bad. Uh, the jersey-wise, I do like this. They have the red one, which is very solid, pretty standard. They've got their white one, which says Huskies, which I think is kind of weird that your away uniform changes the lettering or the, uh, the name across the front, but it's fine. I like the way that the NIU looks better than I like the way it says Huskies, but that's just me. And then they have the Heather Gray look, which is my favorite jersey just because I'm a sucker for alternates, but also because it's got the logo on the shoulder pad and I'm a sucker for that as well. So <laughs> uh, three options for the jersey. I think you have the same options on the pant, the Heather Gray, the red and the white. Um, Kind of similar to a blackout, but again, you have a lot of different looks that you can go with that uh, totally change up the way you look, especially, I mean, the look difference between alternate two and three uh, is pretty stark, I think. So all in all, a pretty solid team. Uh, Ohio is next. Again, I think that Ohio is pretty simple, although they have a couple of alternates, um, the white and the black helmets only. Uh, I gotta say, I almost like the white more, which is kind of uh, untypical for me. Typically, I think I would say I like the black one, but I just like the color of green that Ohio uses. Um, just, you know, I, I think I like green in general. Uh, the jersey-wise, they've got the green jersey, the white one, and then a black one as well. And then with the pants, it's a set of white pants, green pants, and black pants. So, again... Decent amount of alternates to work with. I always like a black set. It feels a little bit standard to do it, but it allows you to change up uh, quite a bit when you want to. Toledo gets a much needed update. The Rockets, I thought, had pretty bad uniforms in the base game. Uh, these ones are much better. Um, seven alternates for them, so that's pretty solid. The all-navy look is their standard home, but they have the navy helmet and the gold helmet and the white helmet uh this is the typical way of doing the helmets where you just kind of change the color of the logo and all that but also the gold face mask on the white one is really nice uh the navy jersey is solid again and then they have the white one and the gold one so uh, they kind of just do the method of creating uniforms where you just take all three of your colors and you create an option uh, with all of them because they also have the navy pants, the white pants, and the gold pants. Um, so it allows you for some solid 
custom looks, uh, which I, oh, again, will always appreciate. Like the whiteout, the alternate one, again, looking a little bit like West Virginia, but those are solid colors, and they were chosen for a reason because they're pretty good. Our rivals in Central Michigan had pretty bland uniforms, and it's a very similar situation with our Western Michigan rivals, the Broncos. Have a cool helmet, uh, pretty solid. I like the look on it, but they just have the one uh, jersey wise. It's just a white and a brown option and pants wise. It's just a white and a brown option. So not a whole lot that you can do with Western Michigan. Uh, so we will just stick with beating them on the field. I do like the look. It's not bad, but a little bit more variety would definitely take it up a, a couple of spots on the tier list for me. So yeah, for now, we'll just stick to them being the rivals. Now, I went alphabetically for everything else, and you might have thought that I forgot it, but how could I? I'm just saving our gray boys for last. That's what I do. I think that the update for our guys is great. Uh, a little bit limited on the options, but still absolutely fantastic. Only four alternates after the home and away. The green helmet looks great, but we also have a silver helmet and a white helmet, so three uh, helmet options is always good. I'm not sure if I like the white or the silver helmet more. Definitely a toss-up, but you'll be seeing all three of them a fair amount in our games. Jersey-wise, we have just the green and the white. And pants-wise, we have the white, green, and gray. So we have a little bit of variability more than both of our rivals, which is always good to see. I'd like to see a different uh, jersey, maybe a gray jersey to help us blend in with our new field. And speaking of our new field, how beautiful is this? I gotta say, this is the first time I've loaded into it as a night game, and I think it looks a whole lot better. Uh, the day one, it almost looks a little bit too bright. So here is just kind of a look at the gray field in all its glory, the reason that we are the gray boys. Oh my gosh, my, uh, my thumbstick's going all over the place right now. Uh, it's, I love just how opposite it is, the green end zones that just look like natural turf with the, the gray field, and they did a phenomenal job. But again, I think it looks a lot better in the uh, night game. Let me load in with a day game to show you guys kind of what I mean. Well, it actually doesn't look uh, the way that I thought it did last night. Uh, I downloaded it. Uh, I'm a booster in the uh, CFB revamp Discord, so... Uh, I can get some previews of these things, like, you know, a few hours early, uh, you know, helping to check to make sure nothing's wrong. But when I downloaded it last night, maybe I was just tired, but I thought that the color of gray was a little bit different, a little bit too light. But this doesn't look uh, what I what I remember. So, yeah, uh, I think it looks fantastic all around, and I'm so excited to get to use it in, a, in an episode. But I don't know if we have any home games left in our season with Eastern, so it might be a while. So that is all of the MAC teams, but a couple of other teams have received some updates, uh, mostly just with new uniforms from the season and that sort of thing. Arkansas is on the list. Um, I'm not sure exactly what was changed. I'm not a huge Arkansas fan, so I don't know what their uh, uniforms typically look like, but uh, these are what they have now. The uh, Razorback on the shoulder, on the pants. And then they have a, a helmet that I don't know if they had before, the white helmet that I like quite a bit. Uh, one of those traditional teams that doesn't change things up with their uniform quite a bit. So seeing a different helmet is pretty cool. And actually all of the teams on this list are pretty traditional. The next one is Florida. The Gators got a couple of new helmets. Um, they released this 9-11 tribute helmet. Glad to see that one added. Uh, and then they also have the new throwback that they released, the 2021 throwback. And with that block UF, um, because before they did have a throwback, it was just a little bit different. So I like uh, you got more options. And Florida does a surprising amount of alternates and stuff is what I think. So good to have it and uh, a lot to work with if you're a fan of the Gators. The Buckeyes got some new pants. Uh, these were revealed for, what is it, the game that's coming out the day that I post this, maybe? Or was it last week's game? I don't remember, but they have the red pants now. And uh, uh, kudos to the revamp team for getting those done and out so quickly. Uh, I gotta say, not the biggest fan of Ohio State, but I really like this look. 
Uh, and just in general, Ohio State has a very good classic uniform. They do just enough different from a lot of the other classic teams, where like if they were wearing white and red, they would be so much more boring. But I, I gotta say, I like the red pants, and uh, again, kudos to the CFB revamp team for popping these in so quick. The penultimate part of the update is Tennessee. Again, the Vols got uh, updated with this update. I'm not entirely certain again what the big changes are. I think it might just be the black uniforms that they got because we know how they had the smoky gray ones, but and uh, I know that they just recently announced they were going to do uh, a black jersey, so I'm assuming that this is it. Again, I apologize to Tennessee fans or you know, uh, college football fans that just know Tennessee's uniforms really well, because I obviously don't. Um, yeah, the white alternate helmet, uh, the black stripe running alongside the orange stripe is pretty cool. Kind of a black outline to the logo and a black face mask, and then the black jersey and pants. It's a good look for Tennessee. Uh, definitely different. Very, very spooky Halloween vibes, that's for sure. And I'm getting a lot of, like, Oregon State out of it. And our final update is UCLA and the Bruins. Well, they look solid. Uh, I mean, it's the Bruins. Not a lot of uh, options for UCLA, but they don't wear a whole lot. So it's pretty much just the home and away. Um, can't really do a whole lot more than that. But they've got the Jumpman. I love the color that UCLA uses. Some would call it sissy blue. I would call it like sky blue. <laughs> Winner's blue. Uh, UCLA having a solid season, and uh, they get uniforms to match. Helmet looks great. Uh, again, great job by the team. So that is all of the updates in version 15 of the college football revamped mod. I am definitely excited to get to see uh, our gray boys completely new and updated in action. But like I said, I think that we really do have to wait until next season to see a home game. I don't know if the MAC Conference Championship is like best record hosts or not. So we'll have to find that one out. But at least we can use the uniforms right away. And again, I am so excited for that. Um, if you want this update or the college football revamp mod in general, you can go to cfbrevamp.com. There'll be links to that. Uh, the CFB revamp discord as well as their Twitter all down in the description below and then there's also links to my Twitter my community discord uh, and my twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster I want to know in the comments what you guys think of the update I want to know what your favorite uniforms are and definitely what your least favorite um, I mean I'm gonna be biased here Eastern Michigan definitely my favorite I don't know if I have a least favorite I really liked Toledo and just to really get into the rivalry, I'll say that Central Michigan and Western Michigan were my least favorite. But again, I'm curious to know your guys' opinions. And I hope that you guys like Ball State as well because, well, that's the first team that we're going to be playing under the update. Unfortunately, though, that's going to have to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and you want to be notified when new videos such as this update one or when Eastern Michigan Grey Boys videos come out or, you know, when I do the occasional other video. And I've already told you about all of the links. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You are the goons. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.